Hi, this is Cody Sandal, president of Code for Kids, and we are going to continue our series uh, showing you how to uh, get going with Arcade Make Code. So this is a visual programming environment for uh, certain uh, video game systems, and the nice thing is you have a little simulator here uh, in your browser, uh, also on a tablet. Um, it's usually at the very bottom of the screen. You tap it, and it'll become full screen, and you can interact with it in that way. Um, so we're again telling the story of the Sword in the Stone, where Arthur is able to pull the sword that has been stuck in the stone, and that is the sign of the uh, of the true king. So we have, uh, just a reminder, everything that you want to show up here on the screen has to be inside of um, a function like this. Uh, this is called an event, so on start, uh, this sets everything up. You'll see in some of the other tutorials a few different ways of making that happen, but for our purposes, you can just put everything inside of this green on start event. Um, so we have our background, we have our hero, Arthur, uh, and we have moved Arthur to a particular location. Now let's start telling the story. And one of the things you can do under the game menu is you can ask for something from the player, uh, you can tell them something, um, here we are going to show a set of long text and so this is how we will tell our story and um, you can choose which side of the screen so there we go so you can still see Arthur there um, so we will start telling our story there once was a little boy his name was Arthur then once we click off of that, we get to see what this looks like. Um, this little button here says A. Um, it doesn't continue until you hit the A button. So the next thing we put, uh, why don't we show you how to move Arthur around. So again, we're going to under the so each of these colors correspond to the menus over here. So things that affect sprites are in the blue. You can see this is blue. Um, remember, we used the background image from the scene. Uh, this one is from game. Some of it's a little weird, like what's in game, what's in scene. Um, you'll get used to it, or you can always search up here. You could, you know, remember it's called the long text. And that'll show you where it is. Um, so that's another thing you can do. Um, but we're going to, because it's blue, we're going to set Arthur's position after we tell that part of the story. And uh, remember, we have to change here so we know we're working with Arthur. See, so then you click the X. Let's move him uh, to the other side of the screen. And then let's see what that looks like. We'll hit A. So now he's moved over here. Uh, so this, uh, this will come up in a little bit, but uh, this long text here pauses. Uh, by the way, you can click this to reload. <clears throat> this waits until someone, the player hits the A button. Some of the other things that we will start um, don't wait. Uh, that's called blocking or non-blocking. Um, so this one blocks the execution of the program. We don't get here until this is done and the user, the, the player presses A. Uh, so that's that works for us. Uh, let's do another another thing you can do here. Um, right click and duplicate. So let's remember it's got to be inside here. This tells you the order. So that if you have a block and you don't want to go find it again, you can duplicate. I believe on tablets uh, and iPads, I think you can long tap it, to duplicate, or you hold your finger on a block and that will give you the option to duplicate it. Uh, let's say everyone thought Arthur was the smallest, weakest, least handsome kid in town. And uh, maybe let's move it from center to the top. Let's we'll see what that looks like. Again, you, every time you make a change, it reloads it. So you can make your, uh, you can make a lot of changes um, and, and just kind of see how they look. And why don't we, let's make some kids uh, laughing at him after this. So let's make some new sprites. 
We're gonna make some new sprites. And uh, this one will be a kid one. And let's make another one too. Then you're just clicking and dragging. Rename to two. Um, side note, you don't really have to do that. Uh, renaming everything, it will start calling them Sprite 1, Sprite 2, Sprite 3. I just think um, whenever you're programming, it really helps to name things a meaningful way uh, so that, you know, any the person who didn't program it uh, can step in and, uh, and know what you're doing. Uh, one of the hardest programs I ever had to fix was uh, a program where someone else had written it and everything was named X, Y, Z, it had nothing, you know, it wasn't Kid 1, Kid 2, and Arthur, it was X, Y, and Z, and A, and B, uh, and I had to figure out what everything meant. So give your things a, uh, give your sprites and your variables good names, and that will help everyone. And now remember, we, we click on this image here to load in something from the gallery, and we'll just pick, uh, that'll be a girl, and we'll just pick someone else maybe yes the football player well there we go and then uh, we need to put them in position because if you see this here they appear but they're both in the middle so again we go to the it's blue for sprite so we're going to set their position and we got to change it from my sprite to kid one and same thing we're going to Change this to kid two. Oops, running the wrong thing. I made it uh, create another copy. So let's let's again show you the duplicate. Change this to kid two, and kind of put them on that left side of the screen. I'm just kind of making up these positions. You can just do it by trial and error. Um, maybe a little farther over and further down. See what that looks like. We press A to get past here. We press A again. And we have our two kids um, to laugh at him and uh, again we'll stop here for now but we've seen how to add more sprites more images we've seen um, how to add you know, multiple things in order and then we're going to start looking at some of the fun things like adding effects here uh, in the next tutorial um, so stay tuned <laughs>